Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. In today's tutorial, as the title I'm sure said, uh, we are going to look at updated, a um, couple updated ideas for you uh, repainting or touching up your old black and white photos. Now I came across a couple different ways to do it um, to add on to um, Mike's way of doing it from our live video stream. And I want to go ahead and show you uh, the steps that I found that also may help you out. The first thing that I think would help you out uh, tremendously is to use a Wacom or a Wacom graphics board. Now these can be found on eBay. That's where I found this one relatively cheap. This is one of the larger uh, graphics boards, but I found this one for about $60 on eBay because it's an older model and it still works incredibly well. So to hook this up, we're going to actually, so the graphics board uh, works with a stylus, so it makes it very easy to paint on your picture. Now here's what I came up with, and as the show, I'm going to actually give uh, a little bit of credit back, uh, actually I'll give all the credit back, to Kevin Rice who mentioned this during the live shows, can we use uh, blending modes? Can we use layer blending modes? So I'm going to go ahead and use the blending modes right now and show you how that works. What we're gonna do here first, I'm gonna take the hat and I'm just gonna delete that layer. So I'm just gonna turn it off. Now that's what the normal picture looked like before I started to restore it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna increase it by blowing it up here with the magnifying glass. And we're just going to blow this area up right here so we can see the hat better. What we're going to do now is create a new layer. And I just leave it in normal mode and I'm just going to paint. This way, if you notice during the live video, what we had trouble with, if you keep clicking the mouse button and going over, it kept getting darker and darker and darker. What we're going to do here is demonstrate that it's okay to leave it as dark as you want. And we'll change it with the blending modes. So let's go ahead and pick a color. I'm going to pick a little bit redder color. We're going to go ahead and grab a brush. And I'll just start painting now with my uh, stylus. And we're going to lower the brush size down a little bit. And I'm just painting over here. So even though it's a little dark red, that's fine. We're going to show you how that's going to uh, come back to life very, very quickly. We're going to turn that down a little bit more. And like I said, always blow this up when you work. When I originally worked on this picture, it took me about three hours to finish it. Um, and granted, I'm not uh, half as good as what uh, Mike is, who uh, did the demonstration on our live video, which is, if you watched my last uh, video on my YouTube there, it's the uh, Photoshop Weekly uh, number 43 features Mike, and Mike actually did uh, the painting through that uh, video and he will show you everything you need to know. This is just an add on a way I found a couple little steps to save you a little bit of time. So as you see there we're just painting the edges right now just so I can uh, get in there because this hat is not perfectly straight on any means. I guess it was probably uh, like a straw hat I'm sure. Okay. Now we're just going to paint this in. Like I said, I'm just using the left and right bracket key there to change the brush size. You guys know how to do that. We're going to go ahead and just uh, touch this up a little bit. Right here. One thing about this, when you start restoring old photos and painting, give yourself some time. Don't rush it. So it took me three hours to do this. All right. So now that we have the hat painted, what we want to do now is we are going to go back over to the pull down menu here for the layer blending mode. And I found that multiply seems to work very well for me. So click on multiply. And you're going to see now it blended that hat and you can see all the detail through the hat itself. 
You can also try the other blending modes like overlay. You can see that doesn't really work because you're just overlaying that red and it doesn't really work out quite as well. Soft light and that doesn't really work out as well. So I would just go ahead and use multiply. Now there's one other way I'm going to show you how you can save time and color this hat. But when I'm on this layer, I want to show you how we can adjust that color a little bit just by bringing up um, another tool. On here, if you're using Windows, uh, the shortcut is Control U. If you're using a Mac, it's Command U. And you bring up the Hue and Saturation palette. So with this Hue and Saturation palette, we can actually click on Colorize. And now we can change this and actually change that hat to any color you basically want. As you can see, it's keeping the basic style with our uh, layers. Style, or blending mode, but we can just move that back and forth. We can make it oversaturated. We can bring the saturation back. And we can use the lightness control back and forth. We can make it darker, which looks really, really terrible. Make it lighter. So all the way back over this side would be more of the red color I started with. We're back this way. Let's just say we wanted to change it and leave it blue. We'll just leave it there. So here I have, uh, if I turn this off, here I have my red hat. Or in here, now I have my blue hat. And if you want to look at different things like that, I'm just clicking on and off the visibility on the layer itself. That's how you can play with different colors. You can have each layer be a different color. Now that we have that one, Let's go ahead and turn that visibility off, and I'm going to show you one more way that I've seen how to actually change the color of this. So go ahead and do another new layer. Shut this red one off also. There you go. And now on the blending mode, right up here, go all the way down and click on color to start yourself off. Now you're going to notice when we paint, it's not going to overcast anything. Watch. It's actually painting, and I even tried, I went over and over and over this, and I can't get it any darker. I clicked, clicked, and clicked, and it doesn't get any darker at all. It's locked in, so it's actually just colorizing it, just like we did before with the blending modes. Um, again, I'm going to just lower my um, brush size down here. Again, this is just a nice... Uh, Really quick job there. I already got to save that. You guys probably seen this on uh, the Facebook group. If you're not on our Facebook group, please join it at Jack's. It's Jack's Tech Corner is the group name on Facebook. Jack's Tech Corner. You'll find us on Facebook. It's a great group. Uh, over 150 people in there now. So we are uh, doing a great job there. You can also watch my live show every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on live jackstechcorner.com you can catch it there there you go so everything's painted in now once you have everything painted in on this layer do the same thing with that layer selected either control U or command U. bring up your hue and saturation click on colorize and again you can go now through your colors and again you'll see that they're set in there really nicely and it's really easy to work this out. Let's go back to that red. Bring the saturation up a little bit more. And you can see I can bring I can create just about the same effect I did before. Just like that. So there's just a couple more tips uh, for you to make coloring even a little bit easier. Just some time saving tips. And uh, hopefully, you know, you can use those tips. And um, again, thanks to uh, Mike for his uh, inspiration on painting this particular picture. And thanks to Kevin for his uh, thoughts of using the blending modes, which seems to work very, very well. So again, if you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com, and look at the training DVDs and pick one of those up today. I think you'll be very impressed with it and continue your Photoshop editing and uh, keep uh, you know getting better. And getting better at this is just basically taking your time and learning and playing around. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner with another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Bye for now.